nice to meet you. Hi, Nicole. How are you? Great, and you? <laughs> I think we delayed it only a couple of weeks, but we just decided to um, just to roll with it, man, you know, put it out. And maybe if anyone who enjoys us, if we could help them get through their day with new music and all this stuff that we're all going through on earth, that was our, that was pretty much what we just decided. Let's just roll with it. And I'm really blown away. Uh, honestly blown away. People, uh, are digging it and i'm just like i didn't really expect i mean this is our ninth album you know and, and it's it's harder and harder to make records and try to keep it fresh and keep it moving you know what i mean um which is something we always try to do but i've really been blown away by by the reaction i'm like wow man so it's pretty cool it's been pretty amazing i've had this music for well over a year you know and then but now it's all fresh now but the other night, when the night it first came out, I think the uh, 25th of September, when the album was released, to hear it be done and complete in the order that it was supposed to be in the sequence and everything was really special. And then, you know, and then I later on that night, I went back and I went to bed and I put it on some really good headphones and turned off the lights and I went to bed and listened to it again. So to hear it as it was meant to be, it was like off of the whatever your service is, you know, it was, it was really, it was very exciting. So. Yeah, it was it was definitely um, a lengthy, more lengthy process. We just usually go and you know bash it out over a couple month period of time, you know, whatever it takes. But uh, so this time after after touring on uh, the Gore album, we decided as a band to take a year off. But all the while we were getting together maybe every month uh, for about a week just to kind of start jamming and see what we could come up. And then we'd go home for a month um, and kind of live with the songs that we had and the ideas and come back. So the process was. Um, was very broken up. It was a different way of doing it for us. Um, but we needed that time. We all agreed, let's take this year off. Um, we can get together and make noise and see what happens. Back in the day, the earlier records were always live, uh, always live, everyone in the uh, together. It's always the drummer who's got to go first. And so after years of doing this and you're, you know, I'm trying to get a good take and I won't mention any names, but someone over there is, did you get your take yet? Like, well, I gotta play it again, you know? So like these, it's just funny. So we ended up the last, starting with Diamond Eyes, we, uh, we would go in and um, they would just do like a, a scratch guitar track. And I would just go do drums, as many things as I want. And then we would still build them, but we, we weren't playing together in a room. So um, this time around, we got back together with Terry Date uh, again, who did our first four records, yeah. And he's like, how do you guys want to record? I know you've been doing it this way. and. He's like, I, I would kind of prefer if you guys would just go back like you used to, you know, and, and we're like, well, maybe, maybe not. But anyways, long story short, we were, we did it live all together in, uh, in one room, same time with no click, no click tracks, just so very old school approach, very, but it was really very uh, gratifying and re, re, reassuring to know that we could still do it like that. I and mean, it was, it was great, man. So it, it, it lends itself to a very a human sounding record. You know, there's no click, click and no grid and, um, you know, everything is, it was, it's got a lot of tension and pull, you know, give and ebbs and flows, you know what I mean? So it's human and that's the way it should be. I love the whole entire process. You know? I mean, there, I, I usually have pretty much everything worked out beforehand, but I always like to leave a bit of room to, for spontaneity and you know especially when you're in the studio you can use that as a, a laboratory you know as well too so um but it's got to be you got to be comfortable you know um it should be fun it's not always fun but it should be we're making music you know and then just trying to make things feel good maybe you know uh there's a prerequisite in our band it's always got to have that 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 deftones groove you know and it's been present since our very first you know songs um it's got to have it's got a groove I just try to keep it light and fun and it's not fun. It's insane here right now. It's, it's exhausting and I'm over it, but I will be building with all my heart, with everything I have. A picture of Chi that was out. If you actually lay that over that picture, the eyes, it matches up 
perfectly, but it's not him. But everyone's like, that's it. That's you know, they, they figured it out. And but it could be. But it's I mean, it actually isn't. But it's really stunning how perfectly it fits over, even as he had a weird eyebrow that went. And it was like, it's just to me, it reminds me of like Prince, like maybe something from uh, like when Doves Cry video. There was some eyes similar to that, you know. Um, but Frank, yeah, Frank has been we knew Frank before he was at the label uh, and he would do zines, like little punk rock scenes. And he would we met him at shows and stuff. And then we started working with him on White Pony on and he's done every record cover on with us. So we have a great working relationship, you know, and he actually just came with two ideas. He had that and we just went with the eyes, you know. Maybe less is more. It's 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 you want to hit everything all the time, you know, because it's fun. It's the greatest thing in the world. Playing drums. It's a great way to exercise any uh you get your yayas out, any thing that may have if you have a bad day. I've had drums in my life for many, 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 many years now. So it's just a great way to keep level. It's very physical, it's primal. But for playing, I think it's really just about the groove and the beat, you know, and and until you feel comfortable and getting all your limbs doing, you know, some of the best songs ever are the simplest beats ever. It doesn't need to be anything, you know, um, and it should be, it's, it should be a joy to play, you know, it should be fun. Or you can get a, or, or get a Neil Perk kit. Thank you very much. It's nice talking to you. Anna. Pretty cool. Good to see you again. Have a good, lovely night. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.